Hello everyone and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode we talked to, I believe his name was Red Wright. Or uh, Red, Red White. Yeah, that was it. It's a uh, new new recording session, so uh, I don't really remember what was going on. Did I present everything to him? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, okay, I remember that. All right, we're we're done here. Nope, I don't want I don't need to talk to you about anything else. Uh, I think we've examined everything here. Yep. Let's go back here, because if I recall correctly, yeah, that painting is missing. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? <clears> throat> what, was his, what was his voice? I don't remember. Uh, jumping Jehoshaphats. Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. <laughs> mm, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Alright, today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Things kinda did go poorly. Like, she's still in jail as far as I know. I asked you before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have the right to know. A right, Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh. Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... I want to ask all of these. Why wouldn't you defend Maya, a photo of Mr. White? Let's start with the big painting, because I'm pretty sure he was extorted. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's black. <laughs> You're lovers? <laughs> uh, if I didn't think this would have, like, consequences. Alright, it's fine. Mr. Right ha White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be, a ni will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Let's go with the DL6 incident. I'm I'm curious about the reason for the blackmail, but I don't think he's going to open up to us. Let's, let, this is probably more information, I'm thinking. 
What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. Medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye! Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Oh, alright, reason for blackmail. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. Oh, you told White! He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. And this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded some something of what she found. Well... <laughs> Alright, uh... I think I've gone through this with him already. I guess we're going back to the law offices. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. There we go. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order, let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Um, T, T through the C. T, U, I know, W, white. No, that's too obvious. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? That's what I was just thinking that I feel like... Anything, anything she would have had is probably gone. See, J through S, nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. All right, let's do it. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here at the end in S, suicide, ew. She's a collection of suicide reports. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. These aren't real actual suicides. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought she was involved in these suicides. Aha! White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Wow. Article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. That's not really evidence, but... Yeah, I want to check the uh, A through I. Let's see if there's... A record in this file that catches my eye. Ha! B F Misty Faye. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Yes. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words. My mother, mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... The record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Yeah, I thought we knew that already. Okay, I feel like that's... Oop, wrong button. Like, that's important, obviously, but I don't know that it gets us anywhere. Um, I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. I just want to double check that I... 
handled all this. detention center? Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Anything I can look at now that she's not there? Why is the security guard still there? Okay. Maybe the hotel? Hmm, the bellboy seems to be out, huh? The sound of water coming from the showers. I don't remember his voice. La di da, money making, money making. I got the money making blues. Someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. Can I move into the shower? Screwdriver's still stuck in the drawer. I better not touch it. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. Nice weather again today. I can see the Fay and Co. law offices, of course. The bottle and two glasses rest on the table. I better not touch them. No telling what the bellboy would... All right. Oop. Okay, that's it here. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you, Mr. Lawyer. I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Uh, transparent. We're going for it. I think we're past needing to talk about April, May. I've got to pull this guy on, put this guy on the spot, and quickly. Hmm, what's the matter? You seem distressed. Someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. There's my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. But of course I jest you need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It's okay to indulge my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. This guy's a pro at pulling the- Alright, so I need to present him something. Stop that. Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. I feel like I don't want to show him that, though. That's like giving him a chance. I feel like showing him that gives him a chance to, like, prepare. And maybe I'm thinking, like, too much into this. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked out to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. Mm, this concerns me how. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail. Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. 
We won't be meeting an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Wait, is that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they even make even you look incompetent. Hey, I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, butts. Harry Butts. Right, actually, Phoenix, right? And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. Well, what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. What? Now we're in the detention center. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. What's going to set a trap for me? And the prosecution will be in on it, of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh. Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ah, uh, now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... <laughs> Help me break out of here. Defend me in court? Well, maybe that was our idea. All right, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. All right. Huh? Leave it to me. I am Mia's sister after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. Wasn't it ghost powers that ran in your blood? I'd better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. To be continued. And I think... I know this is a short episode, but I think that is a great place. To leave off. So, uh, yeah, sorry, it's a, it's a little bit shorter, but, uh, I'm trying to, trying to end these in, in places where it makes sense. So we'll, uh, we'll stop here, pick this up in the next episode, see, figure out how we're going to get out of this, because holy crap, we are in some trouble now. Uh, let me know how you guys are still enjoying this, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching.
and I'll see you next time.